common sense um, decisions. I call Fletcher Tabata. Uh, thanks, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity to speak to uh, this piece of legislation, an amendment to the Crown Minerals uh, Act. I think I'd like to start off by pointing out, as has been said before, what we're dealing with here are a few uh, minor and technical changes to a piece of legislation. Um, I, I know and I appreciate the contribution from the previous speaker, but it's uh, good to point out that most of this, these changes went through uh, the previous uh, government's cabinet, and so uh, it's good to see uh, that consistency from the other side of the House. I'd also like to applaud the work of the Select Committee, Madam Speaker, the um, Economic Development Science and Innovation Committee. Uh, it's uh, uh, true to say that there was uh, more work done together on this uh, legislation. It was worked through sensibly, uh, with ostensibly a common goal in mind, and I think we've come uh, to that now in the House. So it's a pleasure to speak to that unanimous decision and those recommendations uh, put forward to the House from the Select Committee, and I thank them sincerely for their efforts. Madam Speaker, the amendments uh, are here to ensure that the New Zealand Government, uh, through the Minister of Energy, has oversight where appropriate, um, that, uh, uh, appropriate over the transactions in the sector. Why is this important? Well, I think what we're seeing around the world is the nature of exploration is changing. We're seeing an increasing amount of, uh, I suppose, almost a dichotomy of uh, the industry itself in that we are seeing an increasing amount of large acquisitions and buy-ups by large international corporates. But conversely, um, in, in other parts of the sector, what we're seeing uh, are quite different dynamics being played out in that what we, what, what's great to see, and New Zealand is an example of this, is smaller, more agile companies taking advantage of new technologies uh, to essentially eke out more and more from existing uh, fields and mines. So this uh, presents the Crown with the need to ensure legislation is fit for purpose, Madam Speaker. Our hope is that the legislation done well will mean an optimal usage of our resources, not only, under, uh, not only ensuring or av avoiding, I should say, wastage or underutilisation of New Zealand's natural resources, but actually doing this right means maximising the return to not only those savvy businesses, but to the government itself and the people of New Zealand. It also means that we are aware of and can manage risks that changes within the, sectors, uh, within the sector can bring. This is simply about ensuring that the original intent of this bill uh, can continue to be undertaken, that is, retaining appropriate oversight of acquisition and divestment activity within the sector. Madam Speaker, I was going to go into the detail, that, but that seemed to be adequately covered by the previous speaker, and I'm sure will be covered by uh, many more uh, contributions in the House this afternoon. So, in summary, this bill will clarify and update uh, this amendment's uh, gaps and inconsistencies and errors within the existing legislation, and I, I believe, therefore, this will ensure that there is uh, clarity for the industry and clarity for our regulators. So, Thank you for the opportunity, Madam yeah, Speaker. Yeah. Great to be. <coughs> speaker. I call Melissa Lee. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. It's a pleasure to rise.